Cornelius will get the basketball. He'll work the ball left side for uh, Braden, or excuse me, to Cranhold. Now top of the key, Tasso will get it middle of the lane. Down low is Dominic, or excuse me, that is uh, Hunter Maidenwald getting a start. Maidenwald t misses a turnaround shot up and no good. Rebound grab by Ron Colley. Uh, ch check that. The shot was missed by Cranhold. Uh, and at any rate, the Cavaliers will get the ball back. Here's a three from out front from Lorenz. It won't go. Rebound grabbed by Cornelius. He'll take it coast to coast. Takes it up off the glass. Left a shot short. No good. Rebound grabbed by Braden McNary. He'll go coast to coast. Kicks it left side. Shapebauer from three in the corner. Up and in. Zach Shapebauer, a three off the break on the kick out from McNary. And now Ron Colley will attempt to trap here. Cornelius will pass out of it. They'll get it up the floor and across the timeline into the hands of Dominic White, who will hold it up near the center circle. Works it right side. Now down low, the ball to Youngbloom. And again, had position with no backside help. Gets it on the block, turns to the basket with Ron Colley in playing in front of him. Youngbloom pu puts it up and in. It's a 3-2 Ron Colley lead a minute in. McNary will give the ball left side to Lorenz. Left of the key, looking at baseline cutters, and uh, Sisseton matching up in man. Lorenz hands it off to McNary. Now he'll pull it up from 14 in the lane shot. Rims in and out and back in again. McNary docks it down with the defense falling away from him and giving him an easy 14-footer. Now here's the ball back the other way. They try to skip the pass. This match up in man. Long pass comes out top to uh, Youngbloom. He'll give it off right side to Dominic White. Now the Redmond will work it around. White with it top of the key. will work it right side to Braden Tassa. Tasa now to Youngbloom at the top. They're uh, going to pick it out, and White will come out, get it on the wing, work it down low to Cornelius. He'll get the ball up. Shot is no good, or the shot is good, rather, but a foul called before the shot, and it will be, I think, a, a non-shooting foul here for Sisseton. That one's going to go on Zach Andera, first foul of the night against the Cavaliers, and before the shot, and so Sisseton will again inbound underneath, trailing at 5-2, 6-14 to play here first quarter. Braden Tassa will put the ball in play. And looking, will fire it in the lane to Cornelius in traffic. Shot is up and no good. Got some contact, but they let it go. And now the Cavaliers the other way. McNary will take it the length of the floor. Had to alter his shot in midair and left it short on the rim. Rebound grabbed the other way by Cranhold. He'll pick up the dribble out front. Now gets it left side to White on the perimeter. White one dribble. Now cross courts it right side to Braden Tassa. Tassa on the three-point line. Nothing there. The Redmond will pull it back out. White left wing. Will work the ball right wing for Cranhold. He'll drive to the free throw line, stops, and leaves it back off out front. Cavaliers really sagging inside, trying to protect the middle. White lost the ball, but uh, nobody there for Ron Colley to go after it. So the Redmen now will reset. They'll screen for Cornelius out front. Little help by Lorenz defensively. Now they try to work it over to Young Blue Porter. McNary will bring the ball up the floor, and Sisseton. Matching up in man defense. Lorenz gets the ball left wing. They'll work it around right side to McNary beyond the three-point line. McNary looking at cutters. Nothing there. Backs it up with the dribble. Now we'll go left of the key to Andera. Ball out front. Here's Lorenz. He'll drive and dish. McNary long three from the right corner up and in. Ron Colley's hit a couple early threes and have opened up an 8-2 lead. Five minutes to play first quarter. Full court pressure by the Cavaliers. Pass shy of the timeline to Cranhold. Still waiting. Holzer will work him. Now Cranhold will dribble it across and will bring it right side for Tassa. Tassa now to White. They'll feed it down low. And the pass is uh, intended for Youngbloom. It hits the bottom of the bank board, hits Andera in the arm, and then will deflect out of bounds. And a tough break for Ron Colley. They had a turnover force, but the backboard saved the basketball. And then... Andera couldn't corral it in, so Sisseton will keep it. Inbounds pass comes to Tassa out front. Now to Cornelius, 17-footer is up and bounces around and falls in good. Cornelius gets the kind roll for his first basket of the night. 8-4 Cavaliers. Ron Colley the other way. McNary free throw line will give it left side to Andera. Now to Schaefbauer out front. Ball to Lorenz standing on the three-point line. An 18-footer up and good. Lucas Lorenz knocks down the perimeter jumper. Ron Colley shooting the ball well from the outside. Ron Colley double teams Cornelius. He'll pass out of it and gets it to Ethan Cranhold. Cranhold will set it up out front. They'll try to get it to Cornelius. Don't right here. They'll go to Toss on the right side. Now White will pump fake at the free throw line. Brings the dribble down. Nothing there. They'll pass it back to Cranhold. And again, uh, Cornelius getting a lot of pressure. Not getting a lot of touches here early on. 
Tassa uses up his dribble on the right side. Now they'll find Cornelius at the free throw line. He'll get rid of it right side. A three on the way by Tassa. Airballed. And the rebound on the back side taken away by McNary. Ron Colley will pull it up. McNary from three. Let's fly. It's off the back iron. No good. Rebound is pulled down by Tassa, and he'll get the ball to Cornelius, left side of the floor, drives baseline, gets some help from McNary defensively, and uh, Cornelius leaves the shot short. Ron Colley, the ball up the floor, uh, bobbles it a little bit, but Schaefauer finally comes up with it. Now the Cavs will pull it on the perimeter. They'll get it to Andera. He'll dribble underneath, reverse layup. Tough shot from under the basket, won't fall. And the rebound taken away by Sisseton. Cornelius hurries it the other way. And now Holzer's going to commit a foul with Cornelius uh, making a move to the basket. Holzer will reach in and will commit the foul rather than let him get the drive to the hole. Second team foul against Drancali. First on Holzer. And the Cavs will go to their bench for the first time tonight. Holzer and Greg Zenz will check in. And now uh, Daniel Redman inbounding underneath their own basket. Cornelius will put it in play out front for Braden Tassa. Tassa dribbles along the arc. Now we'll get it to Cornelius. Three right wing up and in. Cornelius knocks the three down to pull the Redman within three and cut the lead in half. 3-10 to play in the first quarter. McNary will bring it across the timeline and we will work it right side to Zach Andera. Andera on the wing will get a nice backdoor pass to Brickneri all alone. Will take it to the hole and lay it up and in. Good vision by Andera to see that play open up and then just lead Braden to the basket. Cavs lead back to five. Cornelius with the dribble right side will set it up on the wing. Now goes between the circles and gives it off to Braden Tassa. Back to Cornelius standing on the center circle. Andera on him defensively. Pass comes to the free throw line to White. He'll give it back left side to Cornelius, he'll go to the hole, shot is up and no good, or uh, no good, yeah, but they're gonna call a blocking foul on Zach Andera. And Andera getting the uh, tough task of trying to hold down Cornelius, that's his second foul of the night. And Jordan Cornelius will go to the free throw line with two shots for Sisseton. Shot on the way is good from the foul line. Now Landon Hayline will check in for Ron Colley and Andera will have a seat with 2.38 to go in the quarter. It was two early fouls. Cornelius has six of Sisseton's eight points and one more chance here from the free throw line for him. The shot is on the way good. And again, Cornelius, you know he's going to be a tough guard. Sisseton's found a way to keep him involved here early on. 12-9, Cavalier lead at three. McNary will give the ball to Holmstrom out front. Now the pass left side to Hayline. Hayline will give it to Greg Zenz. Back left wing for McNary. He'll dribble along the arc. Brings it top of the key and feeds it right side. Holmstrom double teamed as he goes down. Will give it off to uh, Lorenz. He'll take it to the basket. Leaves a floater short in the lane. Sisseton the rebound. Up the floor. Tassa will fire it underneath to Dominic White. And he misses the bunny from low. The rebound tapped around into the hands of Tassa under the basket. He will be called for a travel as he tries to bring it back out and kick it out. But uh, could not get it done. So the Cavaliers... Don't let uh, Cornelius touch at that time, and Sisseton had some good looks but can't get him to go. Into the game, Hunter Maidenwald now for Sisseton. Braden took the ball back with 2.05 to go, leading it 12-9. Greg Zenz up the left side of the floor. Will set up the offense between the circles. Pass left side. Holmstrom will square from three. Let's fly. Shot off the mark. No good. Rebound is tapped around on the back side. It's battled for, and it's off the hands, or off the foot, rather, of McNary. McNary along with Maidenwald, and I believe it was uh, Cranhold battling for the ball, but they say McNary kicked it last. And Sisseton now will get it back with a chance to pull within one or tie it up, but nope, Sisseton's going to get called for a travel trying to break through the pressure. Maidenwald gets the basketball and took a little stutter step before he got the dribble down. And Ron Colley forces the third Redmond turnover of the night. And we'll get the ball back. Zach Schaefauer into the ball game for Ron Colley, and uh, Braden McNary will sit with a minute 47 to play here in the first quarter. Greg Zenz will give it left. Holmstrom not looking for it, and Cornelius will uh, take the ball away, but then mishandles a dribble and will lose it out of bounds. Ron Colley, a big break there because Cornelius, if he keeps control, has a breakaway uncontested layup. As it is, Ron Colley now back the other way. Landon Hayline left of the key. will give it right to Zenz. Ron Colley looks at cutters. Nothing there. They'll get it to Schaefauer out front. And here's an illegal pick out front by Lorenz. Lucas Lorenz is trying to give Schaefauer a little extra space and threw the hip out. And uh, Lorenz called for his first of the night. And so with a minute 32 to go here, the Redmen will get the ball back. We've been stuck here 12-9 for a few minutes. Redmond will inbound in the backcourt to Ethan Cranhold. Zenz will get on him and at the timeline. Ball will come right side to 
Cornelius on the wing. He'll give it in the right corner. Now they'll feed it underneath. Youngbloom got good. Deep position. Missed the bunny underneath. Gets the rebound back and then draws the foul. And Zach Schaefbauer is going to get teed up as uh, Schaefbauer was upset with the call and then is going to get teed as uh, he didn't think he should have been called for a foul. And whether he said something or not, I don't know. But Schaefbauer is going to come out of the game. Youngbloom's going to go to the free throw line with two shots on the foul, and then we'll see who shoots the technical free throws, but this will be a uh, big swing here. If Sisseton can knock it down, a, a golden opportunity for them to get their first lead of the night. Wyatt Youngbloom fouled in the act of shooting here off the foul on Schaefbauer, and the free throw rattles in and out. No good. Does Big man for Sisseton. One more from the foul line. This one is perfect. So he gets one of the two, and now I believe... Uh, will there be technical free throws? I think they're still going to get technical free throws and the ball. And so uh, Cornelius will step up to shoot the technical free throws. And Cornelius has hit two of two already from the line tonight. Has seven here in the first quarter. First one on the way is good. And one more shot to go for Jordan Cornelius to try to tie this game up. And then Sisseton will have possession off the technical. And Cornelius rips nothing but net on both of those. So it's a 12-12 game, three of four from the foul line off the foul call, and then the technical foul free throws. And now the Redmen will get it at midcourt with 119 to go. They've tied the game at 12. Cavaliers have struggled, and boy, it looked like Cornelius went over and back to get the ball. And now Lorenz is going to pick Cornelius's pocket and takes it to the hole and lays it up and in. Big turnover out front by Cornelius, and Lorenz makes him pay with an easy two. And now Sisseton back the other way. Cavaliers trying to turn up the pressure. Cranhold will dribble through it and will give it off left side for Cornelius, trapping the big man passes out of it. Now we'll get the ball back from Dominic White. Lorenz will come out and will pick up Cornelius out front. Pass will come left side to Ethan Cranhold on the wing. Cranhold gives it out between the circles to Youngbloom. Now right side to Maidenwald. He'll look at the cutters come through. Down low, Cranhold on the block. Defender goes by him, and Cranhold to the basket. Had a great look and leaves it off the glass too hard. And now Ron Colley will go back the other way. Braden McNary in the ball game will drive to the basket. Gets his man in the air. Misses the bunny underneath. He threw a great fake to get Cornelius up and then just missed the shot off the glass from point blank range. Cornelius back the other way. Ten footer up and good. And we've got a typical Ron Colley Sisseton ball game breaking out here tonight. 15 seconds to go. A 14-14 ball game. You can just kind of feel both teams starting to crank it up a little bit. McNary directing for somebody to come and uh, help him out. He'll get a screen, will take it all the way, the hole lays it up and in. Sisseton will inbound at the Ron Colley end, and the three-quarter court shot by Cornelius is short at the buzzer. Oh well from the outside, but Sisseton takes advantage of a technical foul and uh, ties the game up. Ron Colley gets a late basket from McNary and leads it by two at the quarter, 16-14. Ron Colley with the ball to start the second quarter. Zach Schaefbauer back in the game will give the ball left side to Lane Holzer. Now to McNary, he'll drive to the free throw line, spins in the lane, dumps it off to Holzer under the basket. His shot is up and blocked by Cornelius. Battle for the loose ball on the deck. Cornelius will come away with it and then Adam Nelson will call a timeout from the Sisseton bench to uh, bail Cornelius out who is on the floor and in some trouble. So we've got it to come in the backcourt to Ethan Cranhold. He'll get it up to Cornelius, but the Cavaliers tap it away from behind and Lucas Lorenz will run it down. That's the sixth Sisseton turnover here in the first half. Ron Colley with the basketball. Bengary top of the key goes right side to Zach Schaefbauer over on the wing. Now they'll work it left side to Andera. Back it comes right of the key. Uh, Lucas Lorenz will take it in right up against Wyatt Youngbloom. And I think Youngbloom's going to get called for the blocking foul. First of the ball game against Sisseton. And Youngbloom will pick that one up in the act of shooting shots of the evening. Lorenz with four points tonight. Two of four from the floor shooting. First free throws off the back iron too hard. And the Cavaliers uh, in games this year from the foul line, it seems to be feast or famine. And uh, Colley misses that front end here, but uh, Lorenz will get the second one back. It's up and in and out. No good. Cavs miss them both, and Cornelius will pull down the rebound and bring the ball across the timeline. Lorenz will pick him up there. Cornelius dribbles to the stripe. Now we'll back it out, and we'll give it off right wing for Braden Tassa. Inside, they'll try to work it to Youngbloom, and the ball picked off by McNary. One on three. McNary will go up in traffic. Wanted a whistle. 
Did not get it. Cornelius will come away with the loose basketball. Now Sisseton hurries it up the floor. And the ball is knocked away by Lorenz. It hits off the back iron. Shot won't go, but Wyatt Youngbloom stays active underneath. And on the follow, he's going to draw a foul. Zach Schaefauer will pick up his third on the rebound. And McNary pleading for a foul back at the other end. And again, Ron Colley just going to have to watch it. They've got one tee here tonight. And... Uh, they don't need to get more Todd Neuendorf giving the officials an earful. Free throw here for Youngblum on the way is up and good. To cut it to a one-point Cavalier lead, 16-15. And now Youngblum gets the ball back for the free throw attempt here. Trying to tie it up, and he does as it's up and good. Daniel Holmstrom will come into the ball game here. Zach Schaefauer will sit picking up that third a tie ball game. A little frustrated on the floor, and the Cavaliers will take their time bringing it up. Ball will come right side to Zach Andera with the pass on the wing. The Cavs work it around the perimeter left side to McNary. Now at the free throw line, here's Lorenz. Shot from 17 up and in and out. No good. Rebound grabbed underneath. Cornelius will pull it away and bring it back the other way on the dribble. Stops, and boy, looked like he traveled. Here's a kick left side. Air ball shot left wing from Tassa, and Andera the backside rebound. Cavaliers have gone ice cold after that hot start to the ball game. Holzer with it right corner. will get it on the right wing to McNary. Now right side it comes to Lorenz. Dribbles along the arc. Passes off top of the key to Andera. Left wing ball comes to uh, Holmstrom uses up the dribble, now gets it off to Lorenz near the key. Down low, right block is Andera, back to the basket, one dribble, tries to pump fake, gets his guy up, the shot up for Zach, up and good off the glass, and a foul is called. Andera will have a chance here at the old-fashioned three-point play. Three from the free throw line, and the lead now two with two minutes gone second quarter. Here's the ball up the floor, McNary knocks it away from Dominic White, and then tries to save it, and will... Uh, Slide out of bounds with control of the basketball. Sisseton will keep it. Ethan Cranhold in the half. Inbounds pass will come to Braden Tassa in the backcourt. Holmstrom will work him defensively. Tassa gets it across and now will leave the ball back to uh, Jordan Cornelius out front. Cornelius gives it right side to Tassa. Now to White at the free throw line. Looks at the 15-footer. Instead passes left side. Cornelius will pull up the jumper. Shot tough. High off the glass and banked it too hard. No good. McNary the rebound. Will bring Ron Colley the other way. Pass comes left side. And Dara will get the pass for three. Shot is up and long. No good. Rebound taken away by the Redmond. Sisseton back the other way. Tassa will hold it up left wing. Gets it down low. White on the block. It's McNary in the air. And then, excuse me, that was Dominic White who will get the shot up and good. Threw a nice fake to get McNary in the air and then put one off the glass from five feet out. We're tied again at 18. Lorenz gets the pass right wing, dribbles foul line, looks at it, and now gives it to Andera right side. They'll back it off to McNary out near the center circle. Cavaliers will work the perimeter. Now here comes the skip pass, and the ball sails away. Intended for Braden. But Sisseton will get possession here, looking for their first lead of the night. Cornelius gets a double team, passes out of it, and the inlet pass for Youngbloom stolen away by McNary. McNary dribbles through traffic, will take it himself to the basket, shot no good, but a foul is called. Holzer was filling, uh, Andera rather, filling the right side. McNary could have gone to him, but elected to attack and drew the foul as he goes in. Braden McNary to the foul line. Jordan Cornelius will get his first foul of the ball game, and the Cavaliers will... Try to get something done here from the foul line tonight. 0 of 3 as a team. McNary's first foul shot off the iron. No good. And again, for the Cavaliers, feast or famine this season from the stripe. They are 0 of 4 from the ball game, uh, from the foul line here in the first half of this ball game. And second free throw for McNary is up. Hits short, but he finally gets it to crawl in good. So the Cavaliers back on top, 19-18 with 4.40 to play in the half. Cornelius gets the ball in the backcourt. Roncalli trying to trap him, but he'll pass out of it. Tassa will get it, brings it across the timeline, and now will leave the ball back to Jordan Cornelius near the center circle. Cornelius dribbles right, looks low, nothing there. They'll give it to White instead. Pass will come left side to Tassa. Tassa gives it off to Ethan Cranhold, and he tries to work it inside. Ball knocked away. Loose ball is picked up by Holmstrom, and the Cavaliers now will bring it back the other way off this ninth turnover of the game for Sisseton. Between the circles, Holmstrom left side to Lorenz on the left block. Andera will get a tough shot under the basket. Tried to go up and get a whistle, didn't. And the rebound grabbed underneath by Ethan Cranhold, and a foul is going to be called on Zach Andera, and that will be his third. 
And Dara thought the ball was exposed by Cranhold and reached around and got him and is going to get called for the foul. That is Andera's third. He'll have to sit with 4.02 to go. So the Cavaliers at two. And we'll put the shot up and in and out. No good. Lucas Lorenz the rebound. Ron Colley maintains the lead here, 19-18. Pass given off to Braden McNary. He'll bring it across the timeline. McNary goes right for Holmstrom. He'll work it left side to Hayline, now to McNary in the corner. He'll swat, uh, launch it from three and knocks down a long three from the left corner. Second three of the night for McNary. 22-18, Cavaliers by four. Tassa will get it into the hands left side of Cranhold, and now they'll back it off to Tassa out front. Sisseton will settle down and get into their half-court set. Hayline trying to play in front of Youngbloom. Now Cornelius will drive to the basket, pulls a 10 footer off the baseline, and knocks it down good. First basket of the second quarter for Cornelius. He's got 13 in the ballgame. 22-20 Ron Colley, 3.15 to go first half. McNary between the circles goes left for Holzer. He'll give it off to Holmstrom, top of the key. Now left side to Lorenz on the wing. Back it comes to McNary at the top of the key. He'll pull a long three and knocks it down good. McNary felt it and pulled the trigger on a quick three, his third of the night. 25-20, Ron Colley matching. Let's see, they were up by six early on. Five-point lead now. Here's Cranhold across the timeline. He'll back the pass off to Tassa at the center circle. Braden Tassa dribbles right wing, now gives it to the free throw line. Here's Dominic White, open from 15. He'll knock it down good. White has four points here in the second quarter. And Ron Colley now the other way. Both teams have kind of sputtered at the same time and then picked up the offense at the same time. Landon Hayline will find Lane Holzer coming off a cut, and Holzer will go to the basket and will draw a foul. And he'll step up with two Ron Colley on top. 2.33 to play first half. And the free throw for Holzer on the way is good. Cavaliers now two of five as a, or two of six as a team from the free throw line. Dominic White will sit down and gets the ball back now for his uh, second free throw attempt. And it is up and good. And a substitution. Greg Zenz will check in for Holzer. Sisseton court pressure. Tassa will put it in play to Jordan Cornelius, guarded by Lorenz down low. Cornelius passes out of it to Hunter uh, Maidenwald across the timeline. Now they give it back off to Cornelius. Ball right side to Tassa, who will dribble it between the circles. Looks back for Cornelius. He'll get the ball on the right wing. Cornelius gives it right corner for Neeland. Now back to Cornelius, takes it to the foul line, pulls a 15-footer, leaves it short, no good. And the rebound pulled down by Holmstrom. Cavaliers a five-point lead now, a chance to build it to seven, which would be their biggest of the night. Landon Hayline on the wing will give it to McNary, top of the key, now right side to Holmstrom with two minutes to play in the half. Holmstrom goes right side to Greg Zenz. He'll drive to the basket. Here's a nice diagonal pass to uh, Landon Hayline, who knocks down the 15-footer. Good look and a nice diagonal pass from Greg Zenz to find uh, Hayline all alone at the elbow. And now a timeout by Sisseton as the Ron Colley team with two start early thanks to a couple threes from Braden McNary and then uh, some reserves kicking in. Landon Hayline putting in a shot off a nice feed from Greg Zenz, cutting to the basket. And uh, the Cavaliers have opened up a 29-22 lead. Uh, this with Zach Andera and Zach Schapauer both on the bench with three fouls. Sisseton taking that last time out, and the Redmen now will bring it across the timeline. Tossa nearly dragged his pivot foot and uh, gets it across the timeline against the pressure. They'll give it up front for Maidenwald. He loses the dribble. Loose ball picked up by Hayline, but he couldn't find the handle. Now Sisseton will get it back the other way. And to the basket, Dominic White's shot is blocked from behind by Braden McNary. The Cavaliers will get the ball back. And now with 1.20 to go, Cavs up by seven in control here after a big defensive play by McNary. They'll give it right side. Lorenz will go to the basket. Went up strong against traffic. Wanted a whistle. Did not get it as White was there and defended it well. Rebound pulled away by Cornelius. Gets it across the timeline. Uses up his dribble. Now Cornelius gets rid of it to White on the left wing. They'll give it back to Cornelius with a minute to go in the quarter. Or excuse me, first half, Cornelius dribbles it all the way to the right wing, gives it now to White at the free throw line. He'll work it down low to Youngbloom on the block, shot too hard off the glass, no good. And the rebound pulled down by uh, Holzer. He tries to get it to McNary, and the ball is knocked away by Tassa, and Sisseton will keep it. Here's Cornelius, a three from the wing, off the front rim, shot no good, and s tried to save it, but Hayline comes up with the basketball. Hayline will give it to McNary with 33 seconds to go. McNary takes it baseline and will draw a foul. A block is going to be called, I believe, on Tassa. All of the ball game. Lane Holzer will inbound for Ron Colley, left of the basket against man pressure. Holzer looking, will find Hayline over on the right side, uses up a dribble, now gives it off to 
Holzer, who will give it to McNary with 25 seconds to go, and the Cavaliers will hold for the final shot here. McNary gives the ball off to Greg Zenz with 20 seconds to go in the half. Now to Holzer at the free uh, center circle, now right side to McNary. McNary will dribble back over to the middle of the floor as the clock winds down. Brings it all the way to the left with 10 seconds to go. McNary now will drive to the free throw line. Gets it to Greg Zenz. He'll drive. Nice shovel pass again to Hayline, who lays it up and in. Another beautiful feed from Zenz. And now a three-quarter court shot is up at the buzzer. It won't go. And boy, what a run by the Cavaliers. Landon Hayline, four big points off the bench, off a couple of nice feeds from Greg Zenz. Two big threes from Braden McNary. And your quality of life. Aberdeen Roncalli 31, Sisseton 22 as we start the second half. Sisseton will have possession. Roncalli will have Zach Andera and Zach Schapauer both on the floor to start the second half. Had to sit uh, much of the final four minutes with foul trouble, three apiece. Jordan Cornelius gets a screen up front. We'll go a little high, low, down low to Wyatt Youngbloom who lays it up and in. First time we've seen that tonight. We thought we'd see it a lot more, and it works to perfection as Youngbloom gets the easy two. 31-24, Sisseton uh, trying to chip into this Ron Colley lead. Cavs the other way. We'll get it to Andera on the right side. Zach Andera goes back door to McNary, and going up in uh, the air, Braden Tassa, Lost McNary, and Tassa lands on top of uh, McNary. Tassa will pick up his third foul of the night. Cavaliers will inbound under their own basket. Had a wide open look after Tassa went behind him. As it is, Cavs inbound. Lorenz with the ball left wing will get it into the corner to Andera left side. Dribbles once along the arc, gives it to Shapeauer. Three from out front is up and off the back iron, no good. Rebound lost off the hands of McNary. And it will be Sisseton Bass. They say Ron Colley touched it last. Ethan Cranhold will get the inbound pass, and Holzer will put defense on him. Cavaliers trying to trap it. Now Cornelius will come out, will get it top of the key, feeds it right side to Youngbloom. Shot high off the glass, no good, but he gets his own follow. It won't go. Rebound battled for, and a jump ball is called with McNary and Cranhold battle. Ron Colley now will inbound to McNary. Tassa will show a little pressure, now will fall back as Braden walks it up the middle of the floor. McNary brings it to the free throw line and will uh, hold the dribble up. Now passes off to Shapeauer between the circles. Back it comes to McNary, left of the key. Right of the key to Andera, right wing to Lorenz. And he'll give it off. Lorenz will put up a five-foot floater in the lane. Misses hard off the back iron, no good. Rebound knocked loose by Lorenz. But I think they're going to call Lucas. We brought the ball up a lot in the first half. They don't have him doing that now. And now uh, Cornelius will come to the center circle. will get the pass across the timeline. As uh, he'll set the offense now from out front. Cornelius will bring it to the right wing, gives it off to Dominic White. Free throw line extended. Now left side, Cranhold from three. Let's fly. Shot hard off the front iron. No good. Long rebound will kick out to Cornelius. He'll take it to the basket. And Dara, a nice block, and they're going to call a foul. Oh, boy, that looked like a clean block on the way up. And Dara was right there and is going to get called for the foul, and that is Zach's fourth of the ball game. Contact might have been a little anticipation on the call, too. But at any rate, Cornelius will get it. And we'll go to the free throw line with two, and the first shot is up and good. And the nine-point lead is cut to six. Now, Jordan Cornelius, it is up and in. And now Ron Colley will go to their bench. Braden Summers, a freshman, will check in for Andera. To Summers on the left wing. He'll get it right to Shapeauer. Now to McNary. He'll launch a three. Right wing shot off the back iron. No good. Rebound by Schaefauer. He'll get it back to Lorenz, and his shot is up and good. It's a two. First basket of the second half for Ron Colley. It's a 33-26 Cavalier lead. Cornelius will bring it across the timeline, brings it down to the right wing, gives it off to Dominic White near the top of the key. Long kick left corner to Cranhold. Now the uh, Redmond will work it around right side to Cornelius on the perimeter. He'll get a screen, brings it foul line, 15-footer up and in. Cornelius knocks it down, 17 in the ball game for him. Only had two in the uh, second quarter, has four here in the first minute and a half of this uh, second Half. Here's a shot from Lorenz, airballed from the left wing. Rebound, though, by the Cavaliers, and Holzer will get it back off a kick from Braden Summers, and Holzer will put it up, and good. And uh, the miss was so bad, it turned into a great look. And now here is a uh, pass back the other way. Sisseton will break the pressure down, feed it to Youngbloom, right block, shot up and in. That time the Cavaliers scrambled out of position. Youngbloom found it and gets the uh, shot, and boy, McNary, uh, Holzer gets tripped up, no whistle, and... Uh, Holzer looks like he's in pain on the floor. To the other end, Cornelius will lay it up and good. Holzer just uh, frustrated. And Todd Neuendorf really giving the officials an earful when uh, Holzer got tripped up and no whistle blown. 
Braden Summers will give the ball right side to Holzer. Now back to Summers on the uh, wing of the three-point line. They'll give it to McNary. Gets around his defender and to the basket. McNary will take it up. Shot no good, but Jordan Cornelius will foul him on the way in. Cornelius will pick up his second. Again, in this run of activity, some strange stuff all over the floor. First free throw up and good for McNary. First points of the second half, 17 now for the ball game for him. 36-32 Cavaliers, and one more shot to go here for McNary. It is up, hit short, but he gets it to crawl in good. Ron Colley will set up the full court pressure, and now Cornelius will handle it this time. Schaefbauer and McNary work him defensively. Cornelius will pass it away to Tassa, who gets it across the timeline. Now we'll hand it back off to Cornelius, who brings it left wing. Cornelius holds it up. We'll give it to Tassa right side. They'll look at Youngbloom. Lorenz playing in front of him. The Redmond worked the ball around. Now to Dominic White. Low block. White will kick it. Free throw line to Youngbloom. 15-footer up and good. Youngbloom 6-8 and 3-plus, but he's got a nice soft touch from the Free throw line, 11 in the ball game now, 6 in the quarter for Wyatt Youngbloom, who's become alive here in the second half. Four minutes gone, third quarter, Cavalier lead back down to three. Left side, McNary launches a long three. This one is short, no good. Rebound underneath by Cornelius. He'll bring it the other way, and Summers is going to get called reaching from behind, trying to knock the ball away. Summers will pick up his first five. The scores table at midcourt. Pass will come in play to Ethan Cranhold. He'll give it right side to Cornelius. Dumps it off to White at the free throw line. He'll go left, Cornel or Cranhold rather from three, knocks it down good. First field goal of the ball game for Ethan Cranhold, a big three from the wing to tie the game at 37. 3.35 to play here, third quarter. Zenz will give the ball right side to Zach Schaefauer. Now out front, Lorenz looks at the 17-footer, gives it to Holzer, 17-footer left corner off the back iron, no good. Rebound by Cornelius, he'll streak back the other way. Cornelius, top of the key, will drive, takes it all the way to the hole, leaves the shot short, and the rebound grabbed away by Lane Holzer. A good look, but Ron Colley had numbers defensively. Cornelius missed, and the Cavs right there to pick up the rebound. Cavaliers will put it in Greg Zenz's hands with 3.05 to go in the quarter. Ball given right side to Braden McNary on the wing. Around the horn it comes left side back to Zenz on the perimeter. Zenz looks, now Holzer will take the cut free throw line, go strong to the basket and put it up and good over Wyatt Youngbloom at 6'8". Youngbloom, uh, there's a little space in between and Holzer gets it high off the glass to kiss in. Now here comes Tassa the other way. He'll pull up a 12-footer. Shot rims in and out, no good. Rebound pops loose out front and Re the Redmen will keep it. Over on the right side, Cranhold comes away with the ball and will give it off to Cornelius near the center circle. 2.35 to play in the quarter. Cornelius slowly brings it down to the wing, now back to the top of the key with the dribble. Ball will come right side to Tassa. The Redmen work it back to Cornelius, left side into the corner. Cranhold from three, let's fly. This one up and no good. The uh, rebound tapped away by Youngbloom. He'll put it up off the glass and in as uh, Wyatt Youngbloom just went over the top of Lorenz to get the rebound and then puts the shot off the glass good to tie it back up at 39 apiece. 2.10 to go, McNary will go to the basket. And a blocking foul is, and he will spell Braden Tassa. Ron Colley will inbound underneath. Spencer Schaefauer now in the ball game for Ron Colley for the first time tonight. He'll put the ball in play from the right baseline. Schaefauer will give it to Lorenz who had a look on the block, doesn't get it, will come back the other way, shot high off the glass, too hard, no good. Cornelius, the rebound, will bring it down, and now Sisseton, looking for their first lead of the night, will bring the ball the other way. Cornelius dribbling between the circles, will give it free throw line, ball knocked away by Schaefbauer, but picked back up by Dominic White for Sisseton. He'll give it off to Cornelius, ball will come right side to Cranhold, now back to Cornelius between the circles. A minute 45 to play third quarter, Cornelius gets a screen out front, will dribble to the left. And now we'll pass it off to Tassa. Right side to Cranhold on the wing. Cranhold gives it to Cornelius. He'll square from three and knocks it down good. And Sisseton has their first lead of the night, 42-39, with a minute and a half to play third quarter. Cornelius has uh, nine points here in this third quarter, 22 for the ball game. Here's uh, McNary at the other end. Drives right, gives it to Lorenz. Lorenz gives it back to McNary. Triple teamed will drive, and he's going to be fouled as he takes it in. Schaefauer putting it in play and lobs it up high for Lorenz, overshoots him, but Greg Zenz will scoop up the ball out front, and Ron Colley will survive that inbound and will maintain possession. Right side, McNary with it going one-on-one -on -one against Cranhold. Shot is up and good. Count it, and he'll draw a foul as well. Braden McNary has a chance to tie this one back up with the traditional three-point play. McNary had his man backpedaling Ethan Cranhold. That's his third foul. All have occurred here in the last two, two and a half minutes. And it will put McNary at the free throw line, trying to even this game up at 42 apiece with 103 to go in the quarter. And Adam Nelson now upset with the officials. 
on that call. Second, or the free throw for McNary is good. Braden has 21 in the game, and we're tied at 42 apiece. Ron Colley will put the full court pressure on. Cornelius, the ball, will lob it up the floor. Two on one, Sisseton as they get numbers. Dominic White will get it underneath, and will put it up and in. Sisseton got advantage of numbers, and uh, some good interior passing low to find the open man. 44-42 Redmond, 45 seconds to play third period. Lorenz with the ball out front will give it to Greg Zenz, right of the key. Zenz will go left side to Schaefauer. Now Zach Schaefauer. Here's a three for Zach up and in. Zach Schaefauer, a timely three to put Ron Colley back on top. 45-44, 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. Cranhold getting pressure, brings it across the timeline in a hurry. Now we'll give it off to Cornelius. Back to Cranhold. To Cornelius with 22 seconds to go. And Sisseton now will... Cornelius will hold it on his hip here, and the Redmen will look for the final shot. Cornelius dribbling out front. Roncalli will come out and put a couple of players on him. They'll force Cornelius to give it up. Ball will come left side. That goes to uh, Neeland. He'll get it to Cornelius out front. Three shot is up and no good. Rebound pulled down by the Cavaliers, and the long court now for the ball game, and they erase a nine-point halftime deficit in that third quarter. But uh, come into the fourth quarter here, down a point. Sisseton with the basketball. Jordan Cornelius out front. And uh, Zach Andera back on the floor with the four fouls. They'll get it to Wyatt Youngbloom underneath. Youngbloom will put it up and in. He's got 15 now in the ball game. He had eight in that third quarter as uh, he's become more of a factor after not getting many touches in that first half. Ron Colley with the ball, down a point. Zach Schapauer gives it to Lucas Lorenz. Now back to Schapauer, right wing. They'll work it down low. McNary on the block will lose the ball as he squares up for the basket. And uh, it's going to get knocked loose. And the Cavaliers are going to get called for a foul. And if so, I think it's on Zach Andera. And that is his fifth. And boy, oh boy, that is a tough foul here. Zach has been in foul trouble all night long. He did not catch a break in this ball game. And Andera will foul out with 7.24 to go. And Todd Neuendorf is really giving the officials an earful. As, uh, again, Zach just was never, I, I think Zach might have played eight minutes total. And boy, Todd Neundorf still on the officials out front here. And uh, Zach Andera will foul out with 7.24 to go. Leaves a Ron Colley starter on the bench the rest of the way. Redman with the basketball. Braden Tassa will get it across the timeline to Ethan Cranhold. Cranhold will try to pass through. The ball kicked away, but right back to Cranhold. Now the Redman will get it to Cornelius on the wing. Cornelius will take it to the basket, goes up, and is going to draw a foul. Cornelius will go to the line with two. And the... Uh, here tonight will go to the free throw line. He is six of six from the line tonight. Make it seven of seven as that one is up and good. And boy, he, uh, since that first quarter, hasn't missed many shots. Cornelius, talented ball player and just a tough matchup for this Ron Colley team, and he's exploited it tonight. Second free throw good. Cornelius, 24. Sisseton back to a three-point lead here, 48-45. I believe that is their biggest to the ball game. Ball will come left side to uh, Landon Hayline, uses up the dribble, now finds Holzer at the top of the key. Pass right side to McNary on the wing. Now to Zach Schaefauer out front. Schaefe will go left for Hayline on the wing. Hayline will give it off to McNary between the circles. McNary out front, dribbles down to the foul line. Now will give it off. Schaefauer, here's a long three on the way off the back rim too hard. Long rebound, they'll run down. Lucas Lorenz will get it for Ron Colley. Cavs will work it around left side. Holzer will get the ball, take it to the hole, and the shot is up and blocked by Cornelius. He'll bring the ball away. Cuts it to the left side, now dribbles to the free throw line. Thought about pulling up, instead will back it off, gives it to Tassa, who will give it back to Cornelius out front. Cornelius dribbles left, and now will go right. They clear it out for him. Cornelius strong to the basket, shot up, off the glass, no good. Follow shot won't fall, and the rebound by Wyatt Youngbloom back up and in. And at 6'8 underneath, he got camped out. Cornelius missed two looks, but one, Youngbloom right there to put it up. And now Sisseton a five-point lead. They'll give it off to uh, McNary who goes to the basket. Down five here will inbound. Again, Zach Andera has fouled out of this game and is on the bench for the rest of the night. Ron Colley will have to do it without him. Here's the inbounds pass and Jordan uh, Landon Hayline steps on the baseline trying to get the ball in play. Hayline was looking for a, a window to get the ball through and creeped his foot forward and stepped over the baseline on the pass. And so now the Cavaliers turn it over Sisseton will bring the ball the other way. Tassa across the timeline will give the ball off to uh, uh, ne uh, Neeland. He'll leave it out to Ethan Cranhold out front. Cranhold will dribble right, feeds it to Youngbloom. Tough turnaround from 10. Rims in and out, no good. 
Rebound battled for, and McNary will pull it away for the Cavaliers. Break it up the other way. McNary will hold it up right wing. Now we'll bring it between the circles. 5.35 to go, a lot of time here, but the Cavaliers struggling to find something offensively that'll get them going. Left side, Lorenz on the wing. We'll go top of the key to Hayline. Now right wing for Lane Holzer. Holzer looks at cuts, nothing there. We'll feed it to McNary, top of the key. Now right side to Lorenz on the three-point line, brings it foul line, dumps it off left side. McNary thought about the three, gives it to uh, Schaefbauer. That's, uh, excuse me, Hayline, 15-footer from the corner, won't fall. Rebound backside by Ethan Cranhold for Sisseton. Cranhold will bring it to the top of the key. Now we'll uh, back it up and gets rid of it to Braden Toss over on the right side. High post with it is Youngbloom. He'll go up in traffic. Tough, tough shot. Won't get it, but gets the rebound back. Youngbloom will take it back to the hole and put it up and in. Youngbloom tried a little hook shot, didn't get it to go, but got the rebound and kept his momentum moving toward the basket and puts it up and in. 52-45, Sisseton trying to pull away. Here's McNary from three. Shot left wing, no good. Cavs 0-4 to start the fourth quarter. And now Sisseton with the ball. Cornelius in the backcourt getting double team pressure. Will pass it up the floor. Three on two Sisseton. Tasso will hold it up right side and will leave it back off to Cornelius. 4.25 to go in the ball game. Cornelius dribbling along the three-point line will work it left to Cranhold. Now back to Cornelius and Sisseton can afford to be patient. Here's a drive and they've got to call a travel here. Thankfully they do. Cornelius ball and again have gotten active inside with Wyatt Youngbloom. And outside with Jordan Cornelius, 52-45. Cavaliers looking for a point here in this fourth quarter. They've struggled here, scoreless for four minutes. Now in the period, Zach Schaefauer gives it left side. Here's Lorenz from three, shot out front, no good. Rebound underneath by Cornelius. He'll outlet to Ethan Cranhold. Cranhold across the timeline will give it off to Tassa. And the Redmen will work it back off to Cornelius out front. Cornelius dribbling along the arc. As defenders go by him, now we'll take it baseline. Shot up no good, but right there, Youngbloom with a follow, and Youngbloom will draw a foul, and we'll go to the four tonight from the stripe, make it four or five as his first free throw hangs and falls through good. Youngbloom now has 20 in the ball game for Sisseton as the Redmen have opened up an eight-point lead, and now trying to make it nine, Youngbloom does as the free throw's up and good. That matches Ron Colley's biggest lead, and Sisseton has done it all here in this second half. Outscoring the Cavaliers by 18 points in this second half of play. Braden McNary with the basketball, dribbles right. We'll give it off to Lorenz. Puts a ball fake on. Now we'll drive and kicks it left corner for Spencer Schaefauer. He'll get it to Zach Schaefauer. Shot no good, but the rebound grabbed by Lorenz. Uh, gives it to Holmstrom out front. Now they'll find McNary. Free throw line jumper. Shot short, no good. Cavaliers have just gone ice cold here in this fourth quarter. Wyatt Youngbloom the rebound. Sisseton will pass it around and get it in Jordan Cornelius' hands. He'll drive to the basket. Runner is up and off the glass. No good. Rebound tapped free. And to the other end, Zach Schaefauer misses a layup at the other end. Wide open from the left side. It won't go. And the... Sisseton leads at 54-45, under three minutes to play in the ball game. Redmond with the ball will get it through the Ron Colley pressure. Jordan Cornelius gets the pass across the timeline. Uh, Ron Colley one foul away from putting them to the stripe. Cornelius dribbling out front will get rid of it to Tassa right side. Cavs are going to have to foul, and they want to foul somebody other than Cornelius. Youngbloom will get it underneath, leans to the basket, doesn't get it to go, but his foul shot is up and good. And Wyatt Youngbloom, just a man among boys down there low, Missed the first one, but towers above everybody and gets his follow back up and in. Daniel Holmes from right side gives it off to Lorenz, but the Cavs down 11 have to start casting away from out top. Here's Lorenz free throw line. Feeds it off. McNary wide open three up and no good. Cavaliers 0 of 9 from the floor in this fourth quarter. And again, down 11, 56-45, 2-10 to play. Tassa, long pass up the floor for Wyatt Youngbloom off his hands out of bounds. Just the second hurt them too badly. Ron Colley now back the other way with two minutes to go, looking for their first points of this fourth quarter. Cavaliers out front will give it to Lorenz, left side. Now back to McNary on the right wing. Braden McNary finds Holmstrom. He'll drive past Cornelius, but then picks up the dribble and will get it out front for Lane Holzer. Holzer to Spencer Schaefauer. Now Lorenz, toe on the three-point line is up and good. Lorenz will knock down a two. Cavs finally on the board with 1.41 to go in the quarter or in the ball game. Cavaliers just seem to kind of get their dauber down for about two minutes. Sisseton kind of rolls. Ron Colley missed their first nine shots before Lorenz hit that last two-point field goal for the first points of the uh, fourth quarter. Sisseton now breaks the Ron Colley pressure, and the Redmen will get it across the timeline. Here's a foul. Called on Elin to the free throw line with a one and one. 
And the front end on the way is up and off the mark, no good. Rebound pulled down by McNary. He'll get it to Lorenz. Now right side to Daniel Holmstrom. He'll square from three. Let's fly, knocks it down good. And the Cavaliers will take another quick timeout. The nine-point lead cut to six with 1.24 to go. And again, the Cavs, Deron Colley pressure. The Cavs are going to put a lot of pressure on and then uh, try to commit a foul. Inbounds pass will come to Ethan Cranhold in the backcourt to Brayden Tassa. And boy, closing fast, Summers and Everson. Uh, the two foulers out on the floor just to try to foul somebody when it's not. Cornelius Youngblum not shot a free throw front end of the free throws up and no good. Rebound lost by Lorenz but picked up by Braden McNary and the Cavaliers now bring it the other way. McNary, right wing, getting a lot of pressure from Tassa. will get rid of it to Daniel Holmstrom. To Greg Zenz out front. Now left side, Lorenz from three. Let's fly. This one off the back iron too hard. Rebound by Lorenz. Gets it to the basket. Shot up and too hard off the glass. It won't go. Cornelius the rebound. And he will be fine. And this is the final one and ones of the game for Sisseton. They'll have double bonus the rest of the way. Free throw in and out. No good. Braden McNary, the rebound, will bring Ron Colley back the other way. McNary will bring it into the paint. Now we'll kick it. Zens from three will let fly. It's up and no good, but he's fouled. Tassa runs him over, over on the far side, and Greg Zens will go to the free throw line with three foul shots for Ron Colley, trying to come up now to the free throw line with three. Big shots here for the senior. First one on the way is off the back iron. Bounces straight up and in. That wasn't pretty, but you'll take it. 56-51. Zenz gets the first one to fall. Two more to go for Zenz to try to cut it to a three-point game. Shot up and off the back rim. No good. Too hard. Bloom in the ball game now for Sisseton. Zenz will get one more to try to cut it to a four-point lead. Shot on the way is good. So Zenz gets two of the three. Ron Colley will put on the full court pressure. Inbounds pass will come to Cranhold in the backcourt. Cranhold, shy of the timeline, will, uh, oh boy, it looked like he dragged the pivot foot, but Adam Nelson's going to get a timeout call from the Sisseton bench, and the clock will stop here with four. Really try to force a turnover here. The Redmen will inbound in front of the Ron Colley bench. Dominic White will put it in play, and will go in the backcourt to Ethan Cranhold. Cranhold getting guarded hard by Reinen and Holzer. And now here's the long pass up the floor. White will get it to Youngbloom over on the right wing. And now McNary will foul him with 33 seconds to go. Cavaliers are more going for the turnover there rather than the foul. Trying to get a shot, a high from the free throw line. Two opportunities here, front end is up and good. And it's a five point lead, 56-52 with 33.7 seconds left to go. One more to make it a six-point lead. He does. So the Ron Colley Cavaliers are going to have to cast up threes here. They are going to have to shoot out on the floor. Braden McNary will get the inbound pass. will hurry it up across the timeline. will hand it off. Holmstrom gives it to McNary. Long three right corner up and no good. Rebound tapped around. Holmstrom will get it back out front to McNary. Right side again casts up a three and knocks that one down good. And that will stop the clock with 18.3 seconds to go. The Cavaliers have cut the lead in half to three. 58-55 your score off the three from McNary. We three. And we'll put the full court pressure on. Sam Reinen will guard the inbound pass. Braden Tassa will run the baseline and will get it in play to Ethan Cranhold. And he'll be fouled immediately, stopping the clock with 17 seconds to go. Lane Holzer will pick up the foul, his second. Ethan Cranhold, 0 of 1 from the line tonight, has three points in the ball game, would make it a two-possession game with 17 seconds to play. Front end for Cranhold is up and bounces short, but he gets it to crawl in good. That's a big free throw for the sophomore to give Sisseton a four-point lead. Zach Schaefauer in the ball game for Ron Colley. Lane Holzer will sit. And uh, Cranhold now will get the ball back for the second free throw. And this one on the way is up and good. It's a five-point lead now. Cavaliers need a point here in a hurry, not necessarily a three. McNary with the ball will give it off to Holmstrom. Out front three. Shot is up and no good. Rebound back to Holmstrom's hands. He'll feed it right side. McNary with six seconds to go. Long three up and in. And that'll stop the clock with 3.1 seconds to go. McNary knocks down the three with 3.1 seconds to go, and that was a long three, closer to the sideline than the three-point line, and he'll put it up and good. We will keep it here with 3.1 seconds to play. Braden Tassa will inbound under the Ron Colley basket. Sam Ryan will put pressure on Tassa inbounding. Tassa will run the baseline. He'll look. He'll get the ball in play to Cranhold, and he'll be fouled immediately. 
The clock stops with .8 seconds to go. Cranhold hit two moments ago. He's two of three from the line tonight. And the first of two is up and no good. Allen hit the front rim and rolled around no good. And Ron Colley now will have to get this rebound and get a shot in a hurry. Cranhold, Jim Silent. Shot on the way, up and good, nothing but net. He gets one of the two to go. Lucas Lorenz will put the ball in play to Daniel Holmstrom. One second left, half court shot on the way, hits the back iron and falls away, no good. The Sisseton Redmen will knock off the Ron Colley Cavaliers 61 to 58 again. A tough loss for Ron Colley, trailing by as many as 11, hit a ice cold stretch in this fourth quarter where they didn't score for uh, six plus minutes, still battled back, got within three, and had a last second shot fall off the back iron at the buzzer that would have tied it up. Tough loss for the Cavaliers, but again, show a lot of guts and a lot of fight in this losing effort tonight. Aberdeen Roncalli loses to Sisseton 61 to 58. We're back. And Lucas had Youngblum, and up until the second half, we'd held our own there. And that, that put us in a, in a jam, and other guys had to come in and try to guard him. Um, you know, and when, when your defensive stopper is sitting on the bench, you know, it's, it's going to be hard, and, and Zach is that guy for us. So, um, you know, we did that, but, you know, we missed a couple layups that we should have made. Um, you know, we battled all the way back, and, and, you know, I told the kids after the game, I have nothing... Nothing to, you know, I don't have a complaint with them at all. I, they played hard. I, I don't know what what more they could have done. Some shots didn't go in. We, we started the fourth quarter extremely cold, and, and after that, you know, battled ourselves back to the to the basketball game, but shots aren't going to go in. And, and then, you know, I don't know what it, what did they, uh, what was the free throw deal? Uh, 18 of 23 for them, uh, 8 of 12 for us. Okay. I'd like to rest my case. Um <laughs> So that is what it is, and um, you know we'll uh, we'll go and get you know have a short memory and get ready to go tomorrow. I guess that's the thing. You get right back out on the horse, and that's probably a good thing. Well, it is a good thing. Uh, the worst part is we got to drive. You know, you get behind uh, the wheel, and you got to drive a long ways to to Sioux Falls, and and we got to get the kids to bed, and and uh, you know we'll let them sleep in tomorrow, and then we got to get ready for a a really good Del Rapids team. So. Um, we'll do that, and, um, you know, this just uh, makes our chance to win the conference a, a little more difficult. Um, you know, we're going to have to, you know, still take care of, of our own business now, and, uh, you know, the best, uh, you know, Clark is, is going to end up with, uh, you know, pl having to play us that last game, and hopefully that's for, you know, us to try to share that thing with them. But, you um, you know, that was a goal coming in. We wanted to get this one and felt pretty good about it going in at halftime and, and came out the third quarter and, and uh, you know, they hit some shots and we hit some shots. And then in the fourth quarter, you know, when we lost Zach, it was, I agree with you. It looked like you could have really folded it there too. Yeah, yeah, they did a nice job. Uh, I thought Greg came in and, and made some nice passes and uh, uh, Landon hit a couple big shots. And, and, and that's, you know, that's good. It's, it's. Those kids are capable of playing. Uh, it's just hard at times to, to you know, take Lucas and, and Zach off the floor. And, yeah. And, uh, you know, tonight. Um, Not your choice. <laughs> no, no. And, and tonight it was, you know, they were making a point. Uh, when we put in a small guy, they were putting him to the post. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's. You know, that, that's just a tough call for, for a guy like Greg because they take him right down there. So, uh, you know, credit to them. They won the basketball game, and, uh, and um, you know, we'll see him again. Yeah. And uh, you just got to, you know, got to store that back in your memory. And, and uh, you know, I'd rather be celebrating later in February. So, you know, we got to just get, get our ducks in a row and square that up. You bet. Go on down, get in the car. We'll see you in Sioux Falls tomorrow, and uh, safe travels. All right. Thanks, Scott. Thanks, Todd.